and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome to my first look at the horses here on Farming Simulator 19. Obviously the horses are something that's new in the game so I thought I'd do a video, video dedicated to uh, to them. Uh, we're just starting off in the house here because before we do that you need to make sure you've got a few things before you deal with your horses. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, run over here real quick. Okay, so this is the new crop in game. This is, of course, oats. This is what the horses are going to be eating along with hay. We've got some hay bales, which, of course, you can now buy from the store if you don't have any ready. They're very expensive, but you can go ahead and buy them if you need them desperately, like we did. Um, but we've got our oats here. We've gone ahead and harvested them as well. So we've got a trailer of oats waiting for us at the top. So with that being said, we need to do a couple of things. So we're going to head to the store here. We're going to go to placeables. We're going to go to animal pens. And there's two different sizes you can get for the... Um, for the horse. We can have a horse paddock or a large horse paddock. We're going to go ahead and uh, get the large one and I've already prepared an area for this. So I'm just going to go ahead and go up here. Okay, so this area here is where we're going to place the horses. But as you can see, it won't let us place this down. So obviously in Farm Sim 19, now you need to buy land. So you need to go to the map, you press X or you can click on this down here and this is where we want our land to be. So it's going to cost us £847,000 to get this bit of land here. We're going to go ahead and buy that and now you can see this area here has gone green. So now we head to the store, we'll go back to Animal Pens, go to Horse Paddock and now that should not be... Uh, should not be red for you, it should be green. So we're going to find somewhere to plop this down. It's pretty flat around here. And we're going to do probably about there, I reckon. And as you can see, we have now placed our horse paddock. So a couple more things we're going to be needing now. And um, we need, a, obviously, a means of transporting our horses. So we have the uh, big Western Master WCF, which is the horse transport uh, trailer. We're going to go ahead and use that. You can have it in any color you want. You can have it in hot pink. You can have it in blue. You can have it in white, whatever. Uh, should we go for grey? We'll go for grey. Um, let's go ahead and buy that. It's going to cost us £16,000. And whilst we are here, let's go ahead and get ourselves the pickup truck as well. Um, design colour. I don't even know what design colour is. It's the wheels. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do now is get into our lizard pickup. As you can see, we're going to go ahead and back up in to the horse transport trailer like so. Get that hooked up. We actually have the cables going into the uh, the electronics you can see there as well, which is new to FS19. So there's the plug, and it plugs in like that. So we have all our brake lights and stuff working. Um, so we're going to head now to the animal market on map. Now, obviously, you're not going to know your way around the map when you first start. So what you can do is go to activate all this stuff here. And we've got the animal dealer like so. You can press ta uh, backspace to tag the place and it will start flashing for you like that. Okay, so we're just arriving now at the animal dealer. Um, we This green thing won't be, here, uh, won't be here for you unless you tag the place. And um, you can see that from pretty much the whole map. So it's basically a waypoint so you know roughly what direction you're going. But now we're here, we're going to go ahead and unfold the uh, horse transport trailer like so. And then we'll press R to get this up. You can get any animal you want here. We've got a range of cows. We've got the pigs, of course. Um, but we want the horses. So what should we go for? We're going to go for... We're going to go for this one. Pinto, he's called. We'll get that one loaded up. And we can have another one, which we're going to go for is going to be... I like this one. Let's go for the uh, seal brown. Um, confirm that. So now we have both horses inside of our trailer like So... You can't actually get this uh, tarpaulin sheet out of the way, but you can see their little pretty faces through the glass window there, which is pretty cool. Right, let's jump back into the pickup truck. We'll get the door folded up, and we'll head round to our paddock that we got set up. Okay, so we have now arrived at our horse paddock. As you can see, there's been a bit of terraforming going on here to make it nice and flat. We are now going to drive up to the unload bay, which I believe is just round by this wooden hut here. You can see it's got the uh, grass removed for us as well. So we'll park up here. You don't have to unfold the doors, but I like doing it. So we'll go ahead and unfold them because the gate is right next to us. So in fact, if you want to do this really realistically, what you could do is get out here because these gates now open in FS19, as you can see, these wooden gates. We're going to go ahead and back up into there a little bit. Okay, so there we go. If you want to do it realistically, you can go ahead now and unfold the rear hatch here. We'll get them unloaded. Uh, move them over there like that. Confirm. We'll get the rear hatch. You can see they're now in the trailer and we'll get that lifted up, move out the way and as you can see the horses are now inside our stable which is really cool so of course we can ride them but first of all we need to go to the animal menu here so as you see here they need straw, water, oats and hay I didn't actually prepare any straw bales and um, I forgot to pick them up so we'll go get them in a second but for now we'll get this door closed we're going to tab through to a tractor I've got ready here we go so we're in the Fiat here 
And actually, this is a worn one. You can see all the paint starting to come off here and on the connections and stuff on the trailer hitch. It's nice and worn. I'll be showing you that later more in detail, though. But yeah, we have a trailer full of oats. So we're going to go ahead and take this down this little dirt path to the horse paddock. The same as FS17, the water one is the one that's got like a pretty much an even side, so both sides are the same, and the food one is sloped like this one here. So we're going to go ahead, park up next to it, we'll get the F1 menu up here so we can see what side we are tipping on. Um, so tip side, we want that on the right, like that. Start overloading, and we'll start giving the horses some, uh, some oats. Okay, so that's all done. We're going to go ahead and pull this out of the way. Now, like I said, we do need to get some straw bales in a second and also a water bowser as well. Those are two things I didn't prepare, so I'll do them in a second. But I did prepare this. So this is our hay bales. We've got it on the new trailer, which is really cool. Um, this thing can be used as a tip tray. This is basically the tray we're just using to tip the oats. But this one, you can take the sides off if you go to your workshop. And um, what's a quick one again? Should we just cut through this field? We'll cut through this field. Excuse the unrealism here, but this is about the horse, this is not the crops. So we're just going to drive with this guy's food. We don't actually own this field, so the crops aren't getting destroyed, luckily. Okay, so what we're going to do now is drive around, back around to the food trough here. In fact, I'm going to stop about here a second. Yeah, we'll stop here. Right, what we're going to do now is disconnect the trailer like so. As you can see, really nice animations on this now. We've got the cables and stuff going through there and also those safety chains. Really nice. We'll get the straps taken off here, like so. Right, so now we're good to get a couple of uh, hay bows. So we're going to jump into the cab. I really like this tractor. This is the new tractor. This is, I can't remember what it's called now. This is the armor track. That's the one. It's actually got an air compressor hose inside the cab, which is something I've not seen on the tractor before. So that's really cool. Nice attention to detail. And uh, also the aircon unit is literally drilled onto the roof. So if you get the aircon option in real life, they literally just drill it to the sunroof. Right, so let's go ahead and line ourselves up with this hay bale here. That will do it. Let's get it reversed a second. Cool. So I'm not actually sure how to unload this thing just yet. Like I said, this is just the horse's first look. Right, so I believe I found the trigger. It just sort of disappeared when I was driving around. So once again, this is uh, first look, not a tutorial, so do not get that twisted. And um, we're going to go ahead and pick this up and see if we can find it again. I know roughly where it disappeared, so we're going to try and get the same thing happen here. I should have put a weight on the back of this, but we'll keep it nice and low. So I believe it was around here, somewhere. It turns out you just have to uh, let go of them, like drop them in front, and then they go in front. So as you can see, now we've got 100% of hay. Now we need a couple more things. Like I said, we need some straw and some water. I've already gone ahead and prepared the water bowser at the store. We haven't got any water in it just yet, so we need to find the water fill point as well, because it's going to be useful for you guys as well. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and get ourselves some straw whilst we're down there as well. So actually, in fact, let's take this trailer with us. Okay, so now actually bring that trailer down with me, because I want to show you guys what it is for those of you that don't know. So when you first get the game and you go to bathing technology where your bale trailers usually are, you may find that there's nothing really small. The smallest one we have is actually this one here with the sides, but not entirely true. You can go to trailers and this one here the sek 802 is a small tipper you can go ahead and increase the capacity or you can take away the sides completely giving us a really small bale trailer which i think is absolutely fantastic so if you are looking for a small bale trailer then there this is the one that you're going to want we'll go ahead and buy that and uh, whilst we're here let's go ahead and get ourselves two straw bales once again you can choose the sizes of the straw bales for those of you that didn't know um so we'll get two and that is now should be ready to go. We'll go ahead and load these up. I need to find the water fill point. I'm not going to lie. I've not actually found the water fill point just yet. I've not actually tried looking for it. So, once again, this is going to be helpful for you guys when you get the game as well. Okay, so I found the water fill point. We're back at the yard. I thought I'd start at the yard because this is where most of you guys are going to be spending your time, I assume. And this is a little tower here with the blue pipe coming out of it. Pretty, pretty easy to find. As you can see, it got some sort of weird road train contraption going on here. Not very realistic, but it saves us time. So, I'm going to go ahead and fill this up. Actually, that should do about halfway. No, we'll go to 4,000. There we go. So we'll take this back up to our horse pasture and um, we'll finish feeding them. And then I'll show you actually what we can do with the horses. Okay, so once again, excuse the weird road train contraption thing we got going on here. But uh, we're heading back to the horse place now, the horse pasture. Uh, we're going to go ahead and first of all disconnect the water bowls. We'll get the straw sorted first of all. 
There we go. Um, in fact, we'll just get both of them connected, actually. Because then, we can get the straps taken off there. Okay, now we have a big straw blower because we are going to obviously be using it on our cows and stuff as well. But if you are just dealing with your horses, the horse is the only one you should have put that front that back weight on. I'm trying to do this without tipping it over. Um, yeah, if you've got just the horses to tend with, you can get one of the smaller ones, of course. But um, like I said, we've got the cows and stuff to deal with. So we have, luckily, a big one at our disposal. Let's go ahead and drop that in, if it lets me. Come on, get off. Scrape it in like that. There we go. Cool. Now we'll jump in into the fence here. And like I said, you can use a smaller one if you want. This will do me for now. And the straw is all the way around there. So let's go ahead and get the pipe out first of all. So it's going to be shooting off to the right hand side. I must remember that. So we have to do a U turn when we get there. So you can see the straw takes longer to uh, empty now, which is good. That's one thing I've always. Sort of didn't like about FS17 is the fact that it took it was really quick to unload. It felt like you weren't really doing anything for like a waste of time. But this one here has took a while to unload. So let's go ahead and whilst we are uh, here. In fact, did we disconnect that from the... No, we didn't. Okay, let's go ahead and get this trailer out of the way real quick. We'll get the water bowser. Right, okay. So now we are in the water bowser. This one is self-explanatory. You guys already know how to use a water bowser by now. If you are new, then you just go up to the trough here. Once again, it's the one with the even side. You press I. And you start filling it up. So now our horses have oats, they have hay, they have straw, and they have water, which should bring that health up. Actually, it was started to get down a little bit here. It was at 99, is that 98 percent now? When about 100. So basically, now you can just breed your cows like you would any other animal. But of course, the only difference between this and the cows and all the sheep and stuff is you can actually ride these horses, which is really cool. So we'll go ahead and jump onto this one here. As you can see, we're now riding the horse. So, if bring up the F1 menu here, there's different types of um, movement for the horse. So, at the moment, if we press W, we'll be walking. And then we can trot, or we can canter, or we can gallop. I'm not going to gallop just yet, because I want to open this gate here. We'll jump onto this one now. This one's closer. Right, let's turn around here. Right, let's go ahead and walk through these gates here. And then, once we are through... We'll go free running. So there we go. Now we can go all the way up to gallop. And this is the top speed of the horse. You can jump as well. So if you wanted to, you can go on really long runs, which is pretty cool. Okay, now one of the reasons you want to take your horse running is for the fitness level. Now, if I go ahead and get up the animal menu, as you can see here is the fitness level. This horse is only 5% fit. Uh, the health will go up to 100 now. We've got all the stuff required. But once this goes up, the horse will be worth more. So at the moment, it's only worth £2,933. Obviously, when you get the health up, which is this one here, you get the stamina up and stuff, and then it'll be worth more. So you can make a profit on these horses. It's your job to basically bring them up, make sure they're healthy, make sure they're fed, and also make sure they're really fit. And then you can make a business off selling horses. So you can now set up barns and stuff if you want on their Farming Simulator 17. So if you wanted to here, this is just at the moment a horse paddock in the middle of nowhere. Of course, in FS19, you can now go to, oh, that's the wrong one, sorry, farmhouse. You can put a house next to this. You can literally build a whole farm just here. So let's go ahead and rotate this around real quick. Okay, we'll put it about here. Actually, now we have a house next to our pasture as well. We'll see what else we can get here. Just make a little farm real quick. What about a shed for our vehicles if we wanted to? Let's go ahead and swing that one around as well. Well, so as you can see now, I've put down a few items. We've got the farmhouse there, which is uh, open. We've got the water thing there, where we can now get water from literally right next to us. We've got some shed storage there for our vehicles, and we've also got a bit of decoration there as well, which is just like a barn thing. So, like I said, you can completely build your houses, uh, your farm, sorry, from scratch. We've built like a little ranch thing in the middle of nowhere here, so you can literally just breed horses from this facility now. Um, I will get into more detail about building your own farm very, very soon, but for now, that is it with the horses. Thank you very very much for joining me if you did enjoy please hit a thumbs up button it really does mean a lot hit subscribe to see more from myself i've been simulate gaming and i'll see you in the next one